So we're going to look at a few other types of induction questions now. Um, so prove by induction that 3 is a factor of 4 to the n minus 1 for all n an element of n. So we prove the proposition is true for 1. Um, so in other words, 4 to the power of 1 minus 3. Uh, that's 3 multiplied by something. So say we'll call it, well, we'll just leave that, that for a second. So just 4 to the power of 1, so that's 4. And as we know, 3 is a factor of 3, so that's the proposition is true for 1. Now we're going to, as always, assume p of k is true. That is, we're going to assume that 4 to the power of k plus 1 is divisible by 3, or 3 is a factor of it. So we're going to write that. We're going to assume that that's 3a, or 3 times a. a is some number. You know, a is an integer. So a is an element of the integers or natural numbers, whatever. So it's a, it's a, it's a whole number, basically. Um, because I suppose k could be 0. So, and zero is an integer, not a natural number. So we're going to assume that. And just in these types of ones, it's a bit handier to just do four to the K equals three A plus one. There's a reason, specific reason for that. Uh, we'll come to it. And step three, we're going to prove that the proposition is true for K plus one. So in other words, we're going to prove that 4 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 3. So we're going to show that that is divisible by 3. Now, I suppose one thing to do here would be to remember 4 to the power of k plus 1. Do you remember your laws of indices, say, a to the power of k times a to the power of 1? Well, that's equal to a to the power of k plus 1. Remember that? We add the indices. So let's just say if I had a to the power of k plus 1 and I wanted to break it up, it would be a to the power of k, a to the power of 1. Now you don't need to explain this bit in your organs, but this is just me showing it. So this can actually be written as 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of k minus 1. Now remember the way we, we always use our assumption? Always? Yeah. So 4 to the power of k equals that. So see that? So I'm going to replace 4 to the power of k. I'm going to replace it with 3a plus 1. Now, and I'm going to multiply it out. And simplify. And therefore, 3 can be factorized out of that. So therefore, no matter what value uh, a is, 3 can always be factorized out. So, therefore, p of k plus 1 is true, assuming p of k is true. And therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, 4 to the power of n minus 1 is divisible by 3 for all n as an element of n. Um, now we're going to look at another type of one as well. Uh, this one's slightly more difficult, but it's not too bad. Now prove by induction that 10 to the power of n minus 7n, 7, 7 to the power of n, is divisible by 3 for all n is an element of n. Now it's just coincidence that we have 3 here. So, uh, so prove, so show that p of 1 is true, i.e. so 10 to the power of 1 minus 7 to the power of 1 um, that that's divisible by 3. So 10 to the power of 1 is 10, 7 to the power of 1 is 7. So that is 3. So that's that's divisible by 3. So 3 is divisible by 3 because 3 times 1. So therefore, p of 1 is true. Next, as always, we're going to assume p of k is true. So we're going to assume that 10 to the power of k minus 7 to the power of k um, can be written as 3 times some number. We'll call it a again. 
Now, but the one thing is here, I'm going to just get 10 to the power of k on its own. And just the reason I do that, we'll just get rid of the negatives on the left-hand side, if you can always think negatives are bad. Now, so 7 to the power of k. And remember, we're going to use that assumption. And I'm going to prove it's true now for k plus 1. So we're going to replace k with k plus 1. Now I'm trying to find 10 to the power of k because that's, that's the assumption. I have to use that assumption. So like before, I'm going to break up 10 to the power of k plus 1. Remember 10 to the power of k plus 1 is the same as 10 to the power of k times 10 to the power of 1. We just add the powers. And I'm going to do the same with the 7. So uh, 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of k minus 7 to the power of 1 uh, times 7 to the power of k. Now, remember what 10 to the power of k is again? So I'm going to put that in. Okay. Okay, so hope you're with it now. Now, just... Multiply out the brackets, so 30a plus 10 times 7a, or sorry, 10 times 7 to the power of k minus 7 times 7 to the power of k. Now, see these two here? These are actually the same thing. These can be added and subtracted. If that was 10x, take away 7x. You could replace that with 3x. But it's 10, 7 to the power of k's, take away 7, 7 to the power of k's. So that can actually be replaced by 3 times 7 to the power of k. So that's the tricky wee step in there. 10 of them, take away 7 of them, gives you 3 of them. And remember what we have to show. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't see any of that. Um, sorry, so just to explain. Uh, we used our assumption here, okay. So I replaced the assumption. Um, so 10 to the power of k equals 3a plus 7. Now, so then 10 to the power of k plus 1 minus 7 to the power of k plus 1. Break up the 10 to the power of k plus 1 by remembering that 10 to the power of k by 10 to the power of 1 would be equal to 10 to the power of k plus 1. So if you just reverse that, that gives you 10 times 10 to the power of k. And the same for the 7 to the power of k plus 1. So 10, uh, this is our assumption now. Remember this, that's the assumption. So I'm taking out 10 to the power of k and replacing it with that. Multiply out the brackets. So 10 times 3a is 30a, 10 times this. Now remember you can't multiply 10 by seven because seven has to be raised to the power of k first. So that gives you 10 times seven to the power of k. And don't forget then we have this. Now I have 10 of these and I take away seven of them. Like as I said, sorry, it was out of screen there. If you had 10x take away 7x, your answer would be 3x. Here I have 10 of them, and I take away 7 of them, so I'm left with 3 of them. And now I can factorize out 3. So therefore I've shown that the proposition is true. So p of k plus 1 is true assuming p of k is true. So therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, so uh, 10 to the power of n minus 7 to the power of n divisible by 3, divisible by 3 for all n is an element of n.